Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. We need to talk about the market today, what's gonna be happening, and what came out the previous day, what kind of things moved on the market. They came out with the Mueller SBC today, so I wanna talk through that. We're gonna look at some more investments, and today we should be getting um, the guaranteed SBC for the secondary league. So this week, that is Liga Nos. We're gonna get a Liga Nos guaranteed SBC. I don't expect it to be anything massive or anything too expensive, but I wanna talk about how we might be able to prepare for that and what I think that SBC might be. But this Thomas Muller card, again, it's it's kinda of like the Firmino from last week. Very good card. If you need a center attack in mid from the Bundesliga, it's not like there aren't a ton of them already. I mean, if we go and look at the Bundesliga team of the season squad. How many German center attacking mids or center forwards do we have? Brandt, Havertz, Royce. There's three right there. And then on the bench, we have Kroos um, and, you know, Valand and Werner. They have good enough stats where you could put them at cam if you needed them there. So this card is cool, yes. Um, but I don't really see a lot of people going out and doing it, especially since right now it costs you... Let's check this out because I haven't actually looked at the cost. I just looked at the SBC requirements and knew that it was too expensive. 461,000 coins, which, you know, is a lot cheaper than some of the other team of the season cards. But he's three star, three star, I believe. We looked at his stats. We can look at him again. Uh, he is four star weak foot, three star skill moves. So he does have the four star weak foot. Um, but, you know, the card looks good. Just not good enough for me. Maybe you watch a review later in the week. You see somebody review the card and they say that he's amazing. If we get upgrade packs, that's a card that you could complete if you really wanted him in your team. Using the upgrade packs, getting the high rated players um, from that, and then making that SBC a good bit cheaper. That's the only way I would see myself completing him. And I would say that a lot of people are kind of in that boat as well. But again, today on the market, we had lightning rounds go out. I don't know if you saw my tweet earlier today. Not all of the lightning rounds sold out. The 100k lightning round and the 125k lightning rounds did not sell out on Xbox. Um, and I didn't see the final numbers for the 125,000 pack, uh, or packs round, but they started off with 22,500 packs for the lightning round. And I, I bet there were over 10,000 packs remaining at the end. I did not see that one, um, but you know, it just shows to me, and actually I put out a tweet earlier today, we need, to, anyway, we need to go look at this because this really shows you just how the hype for team of the season has really, really dropped down. So I wanna take a look at this tweet once it heads up here and loads. It's a, uh, a poll that I put on Twitter today looking at um, people, I just asked people to rate on a scale of one to 10, how hyped are you for this Bundesliga Tots promo? Taking into consideration everything and compare it to Premier League last week, cards, SBCs, objectives, everything. I just wanted to get a read on what people were thinking, you know? Like, is this why the market is so high right now? And evidently it is not. Look at these responses, 362 votes, and the leading category is one through three. That's how less and not motivated people are right now on this game and market wise i think we can actually use that information to our advantage um with some of the prices of these tots cards i mean some of them are just outrageous and it's honestly just because their pack weight is low because people aren't opening packs and ea thought people were so the, the rate that they're, they started to drop them on the market they're not dropping enough of them on the market for people to want to use them royce is now i just saw one for 3.09 i believe I have it on my transfer targets that was just under 3.1, so he's dipping down a lot. Um, but I don't think this card is done falling because the weekend league sell-off, which will be happening today as we speak, um, it's going to be a pretty serious one because a lot of people have a ton of coins and they're going to have a lot of options to change their teams around this week. We have a new Kevin De Bruyne that is man of the match that is out in the game they didn't even tweet this out a lot of people had no idea there's a new center attacking mid kevin de bruyne as well as a other couple other man of the match cards um but yeah today's sunday i think you guys can count on more of a weekend league sell-off maybe in the icon categories in the team of the season categories even the team of the season um Premier League category as well. Watch, I have a lot of people asking me, hey, when is this Lacazette card gonna reach its lowest? 
Watch his price on Sunday. If you see him drop 100K, that might be the most that he's going to drop because this market right now is super, super rich. It is ridiculous how rich this market is. And EA is trying to suck people's coins by doing SBCs like this Thomas Muller, but it's not working because they're not really putting out desirable cards. If you look at all the SBCs that are in the store right now, I need to complete Van Persie, by the way, before he's done. But you have Giliano. Not many people are interested in that. Torreira. You know, it's an okay card. If they would have boosted his stats more, I think more people would be interested in that. Yonatan Ta, interesting SBC. You know, not really something that I think a lot of people are going to go for. And this Miller card is just cool, but it's again a little bit too overpriced. So if we do get the upgrade SBCs on Sunday this week, I think that would be, if we got them today, that would be a huge, huge thing as well. And I think that would also hype up this promo a little bit more. Um, so. I want to talk about getting prepared for these SBCs that could come uh, right now. I just mentioned the upgrades. I don't know if they're going to come, and you've probably heard other people saying this, but if they drop the same upgrade that they did for last week, get yourselves ready. You can just buy a few of these, stock your club. A lot of people are bidding on them, as you can see right now. So wait for, I mean, you couldn't really wait for lightning rounds because those SBCs would come out right away. Um, but try to get some of these rare Bundesliga gold cards, the rare ones here. Um, just stick one in your club of each card, just mass bid on the rares, 650, 700 coins, and send them to the club because if that same upgrade SBC comes out and it requires 11 Bundesliga rare golds, you're going to see these jump up probably from 600 to 700 coins, maybe to over 1,000. Just stock them in your club, that way you can do the first couple SBCs a lot cheaper. That's a really good way to go about that. And then if the Liga NOS uh, guaranteed SBC comes today, which I think it will, um, I can't think of players off the top of my head that would be really good to really good to stock your club with, but just grab yourself an 82 or an 83 rated card from like a heart, Jardel. This would be a perfect one. He would be a perfect card right now to pick one up, store it in your club. I'm gonna do that same thing right now because this SBC requires a couple um, a couple of these Liga Nose players. They're definitely gonna go up in price. What is he going for right now? 850 coins. That's a really cheap pickup. I don't. I don't see this SBC being higher than an 83 rated. Yes, you do have the chance of Millie Tao, uh, but other than that, a lot of cards are like 50k. So I'm saying an 83 rated squad. Prob I don't imagine that it'll be it'll be dirt cheap like last week in the Saudi League, but I do imagine that it would be a pretty pretty cheap SBC. So again, just go pick up some of these guys. Pick up one. Throw it in your club. Get yourself ready for the SBC, um, and. Yeah, if you guys are playing Weekend League, make sure you finish that strong. Again, a lot of rewards this week. Um, again, kind of like last week, I'm actually playing the Weekend League. Uh, I haven't been doing too much market today because I have been playing the Weekend League. I'm currently at 9 wins, 10 wins, 9 wins. Um, I think I'm like 9 and 7. Um, and hopefully I will just get to that gold 3 mark, maybe gold 2 if I can squeeze it out and, and stop right there. But one thing I do want to mention is, and I saw this, um, I tweeted this out today, make sure that you are listing your cards for lazy buyers because in this market when everything is high and everything, uh, everybody has coins, the chances of getting lazy buyers are a lot higher because so many more people have coins. Um, a lot of these cards I was just flipping and taking the money on, but these Delaney's, I have like 20 of them. I think I had 22 in total and you can see I'm listing a few of them, not too many. But he's going for like 46, 45K right now. And I've been listing, you know, seven or eight of them all day. I got four sales today at 67, 55, 56, and 56K. So I'm basically getting 10K. But that one card, I got 20K more on the card than it actually goes for. And that can really, like, I just got an extra 50,000 coins from these four cards today that I was able to sell. Um, based on if I would have sold at his regular price. Now, you're not guaranteed a sale, but people are trying cards out. Delaney is a um, really good card. I mean, you look at his stats, and he's actually kind of hard to find on the market. You know, getting lazy buyers like this, you get a lot more of them when a card has multiple informs because it's harder for people to find that card. So let's search 50,000 coins for Delaney. You think, okay, I want to find the 86. Well, under 50k, how many 86s do I see here? Well, if I'm searching, how much is this card? Oh, you don't see any. So people search up for the next range, especially because the market uh, the market glitched out right there and it did not show me all the cards. And then boom, 
55k so people see oh there's an 86 55 oh there's a 54 there's a 54 okay boom and they buy that one because right now the market is not actually showing you all the listings okay let's look at delaney what is his actual lowest price i'm gonna zoom to the back here there was one at 49 is that his lowest price 49k all right he's 49,000 coins so it's not showing you all the listings though because there were some 50k listings before that 49 49,000 coin mark um, but again right now be listening for lazies that's really the point at what i'm getting at i think i'm about to relist my delaney's that i just had expire get your lazies up there on the market um if you do have any investments get you, just list them up for lazies you, you'll be surprised at how many sales you get now you might not get as many sales to today on sunday as the weekend league sell-off is kind of happening as you see a lot of things probably go down on the market um but you're gonna see the increase in those lazy buyers just because the market is so high now i do have a lot of people that are also kind of asking when's gonna be the buy time on these team of the season cards wow this has dropped a lot brand has card has dropped a lot and a lot of these cards continue to drop because they're impacts they're not as hyped as the premier league and the weekend league sell-off is happening so people that tried the cards this weekend they're getting done with their weekend leagues they're selling the cards um I'm not going to mess with trying to flip these cards midweek like I did last week at the Premier League. I think they're going to keep going down until that guaranteed Bundesliga SBC. And watch for the panic on those cards, especially for the top tier. If you have your eyes on any of the top tier, the Jovic, Lewandowski, Royce, Havertz, Werner, if you have your eyes on Sancho as well, if you have your eyes on picking up one of those cards, I think the buy time for these is going to be on Tuesday. Because at rewards this week, People that are going to be opening rewards are going to be going for these top few guys. You know, the starting 11, maybe not Caustic, Caustic, Haustenberg, or Trap, but then you throw in Werner and Witzel. I think those guys are really going to boom on Thursday. And if you just want to take a safe route, you don't know if you're going to pack them, buy them on Tuesday when the guaranteed SBC comes out. If they put that SBC, SBC out today, maybe buy them today, you know? But I do think they have been doing them the smaller league first, so I would think that this guaranteed Bundesliga Tots SBC would not be until Tuesday. That's the time you're gonna to wanna to look at these cards and look to buy them in the panic cell before the SBC. That's what we've really begun to notice with these cards as well. And we'll talk about that a little bit more later in the week as well. But I just wanna get on a video for you guys today and kinda of look at the market and look what's out there. There wasn't a whole lot to do today, to be honest. Um, it was basically just everybody was playing weekend league. We got one SBC and we had lightning rounds. So I don't expect too much more on today, Sunday. Uh, I just expect an SBC for the guaranteed Liga Nos um, Tots SBC. And then maybe if we get lucky, some upgrades. And then of course, lightning rounds as well. Um, cheapest players by rating. We always look at this during our videos. The highest, the high rated golds. They kind of went up today because of the um, Muller SBC just a little bit, but watch these 86s again if you do see them around 16,000 coins. It's a great opportunity to club stock. Get on bids during lightning rounds, even though it seems like not a lot of people are opening lightning rounds, which there aren't. There are still, these cards are, you know, the very easiest to pack. They're still going to be flooded onto the market. So if that SBC tomorrow is low rated, if that Liga Nos SBC tomorrow is low rated, there might be a really good time to check on some of these high rated golds the 88s in particular are getting closer to buy range you like to see these at 30k these at around 21 20k these around 40 and then of course your 85s need to drop a little bit more as well but if they put out the upgrade packs that will help these prices go down as well because people will be packing them in upgrades and people will also be packing them from lightning rounds so keep watch on those gold cards for a possible club stock heading in throughout the uh, the rest of this Bundesliga team of the season. If you have any questions, drop them down below. I'll be there helping you guys out if you have any questions. Drop a like on the video if you enjoyed it. And of course, subscribe to the channel if you're new. It's been Nate, the Foot Accountant. Catch you guys later. Peace out.